Is this live? All right, everybody. There's an active shooter at the YouTube headquarters. That was the phrase I kept hearing all day. All day. What does it mean? I didn't know. I, probably until about 5 o'clock. I'm that late on news. What do I think of it? I don't know. It, it's bad. Definitely bad. But, you know, is there a way to prevent it? I don't know. Let's let's find out. Let's discuss and uh, play some PUBG. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, hopefully this thing loads. If not, I'll go play something else. I don't know what I'll play. But uh, definitely. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Alright, so. Let's start with that. There's an active shooter in the YouTube headquarters right now. What does that mean? Something bad, obviously. So today, there was another shooting. I know, I know. All these shootings in 2018. All this has happened. All this is, might happen. Blah, blah, blah. I know. Terrifying. All these schools getting shot up. There's Florida. There's Maryland. Last year, there was Aztec. It's, it's intense, but... Now YouTube. Now YouTube's actual headquarters. What did they do? What did they do? I don't know. And it looks like it's not going to work. Let's go on Google right now. Let's just go look up the article, all right? And by the way, I'm looking to buy a new phone in case you didn't see that in the search history. I am looking to buy a, um, hopefully an LG G6. They're not too expensive right now. They got good graphics, so hopefully the, uh, the PUBG. I think should be uh, way better. There it is. Now, I know CNN might, might not be the best source for uh, information right now, but... Uh, you know, it's something. Let's see if I can find my logo. Alright. So, a female shooter at YouTube headquarters dead after wounding three others, police say. CNN. A woman shot three people Tuesday at the YouTube headquarters in Northern Carolina, California and then apparently took her own life, officials said. As people scrambled off the patio outside a cafe on the YouTube campus, a fourth person was hurt, injuring her ankle. San Bruno Police Chief Ed Barberini, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, said the dead woman was found at the scene and appeared to have killed herself with a handgun, but the investigation was just beginning. So basically, this article goes on and on and on and on. I'll leave it right here in case you guys want to read it. I might just link it down in the description too. Let's see, copy, there we go. Uh, I might start doing some Twitch live streams too. There's my editor. Um, you know, let's go play some Clash of Clans. I haven't played that in a while. Anyway. The, the shooting. This one, besides Florida, particularly struck is stuck out to me. Because now shootings are starting to come up in a public place too. Which I think is wrong. You know, it's it's very wrong to to even why would you why do you even need to go shoot up a place? You know, like you don't even know those people. What did they do to you? Like, I don't know, you know, all these things, it's, it's getting crazy right now, but, uh, are you seriously not going to work? Oh, there it goes. I found out about the news today around 5 o'clock, maybe, and I was shocked to hear it because uh, I thought to myself, 
what what happened you know why youtube now how is this happening you know it's such a public place and uh you know i was shocked to hear it but then i looked it up and uh, unfortunately it was uh it's true youtube is youtube is next three were injured one woman killed the shooter obviously and uh hopefully we all hope and pray the best for these uh three people or four people i'm not sure whether it was four four people injured or three injured and one killed including her but we'll see and uh you know i'm talking about prevention now is there a way to prevent these all these shootings get them some help you know but you know we gotta stop avoiding all these uh all these shootings and everything because you know it's not cool like for example sandia hook after it happened a couple years ago um <laughs> man that was something for sure for sure something to be happened those guys were just they were they were elementary school kids like they haven't even started to live life you know you know people that were a bit older that was actually a while back so people you younger viewers might not remember it, but I definitely remember it. It was a couple years ago. I think I was like 12 at the time. I'm not sure. When did that happen? 2011, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... What the heck is that? Oh, man. That's, that's some cool music they added to in the... Uh, Okay, anyway, just so talking about this prevention, you know, there's plenty of ways to prevent all these shootings from happening, all these incidents, you know, like the Austin bombings, for example, if somebody would have known about the man, and, you know, all his uh, actions that he was doing, you know, somebody might have been able to stop him, you know, like, we just don't know, we don't know when these things are going to happen, and, uh, you know, we got to be prepared for them, too, like, for example, at these schools, they should upgrade their security systems, you know, well, not systems, but... They should upgrade their security right there. You know, hire more security officers. Or, I, I was looking the other day through uh, YouTube and I found this uh, video about a, the safest, well, it was considered to be the safest school in America. And, uh, that had its own defense system. You know, the, for those of you who have seen it, you might know what I'm talking about. It's a school in Chicago, I believe. Oh man, my mic just went out right there. Um, and they got some pretty good defense systems right there. Uh, you know, they're monitored by police, you know, locally. And I think they should start doing that too. Start with the uh, elementary schools, you know, because those... I'm not, I'm not saying, like, 